All right, hello everyone. I'm gonna do something fun here and go through my disc collection. I, I feel like many people um, still have all of their physical media somewhere, so I'm gonna show all of it off in time when I've collected all my discs. And um, sitting out here, because I was most recently using it, this is a Sims 2 Double Deluxe disc. I at one time had three of these, because um, I would literally have them at one of my parents' house and want to play it. And I would, if I wanted to, I would just go to Best Buy and get another copy, because I love this game so much. So, great game. Here are some DS games, but I have way more in another carrying case that I use for my Switch. You can see one of the Animal Crossing, I have two of these. Let's see, what is that? Oh, this is like the puzzle game. Here is one Scribble knot. I have more than one. I have several of that. Okay, here is an Xbox game. This is actually the most recent physical Xbox game I've bought. I bought it because it's humorous to me that this is a movie tie-in game. And I feel like that's a genre that they don't really make anymore. That was really more of a GameCube era thing. And I think I would enjoy this. I love the Hotel Transylvania series. I really do. I have no idea what this game is going to be like, though. It could just be like shitty mini games, but, you know, it'll be fun. The last kids game like this I actually played was I got it off of, what is that thing, like the Xbox thing where you sign up to be a member xbox play or whatever i have that and i got a game called disneyland adventures 2017 highly recommend if you want to play a bad stupid game for kids that's just very enjoyable i was going to try and 100 percent it i only got to like 89 percent or something like that so i didn't finish it all right here is Fun nemo good pixar game i've not really kept up with pixar like i have not seen the second incredibles i did see the new lion king I, you know, but, uh, like, I didn't seem tangled. There was, like, a long period of time that I stopped being the age to go see Pixar movies, basically. So I'm kind of picking up now. Um, I watched some of Turning Red. That was really nice. Um, and I liked... There was another one. Oh, um, Coco was really good. There are quite a few new Pixar movies that I think are good. Um, here is... This is Tim and Eric's awesome show, Good Job, but I don't know what season number it actually is. This is Great Gatsby. This is the bonus disc, though. Do you remember when the DVD sets would have, like, two different discs in it? You'll see that all over here. Like, here's the two Hobbit discs. Spe special features. I don't think I've ever put this in the DVD player and seen what it is. Here are two. Here's Unrated Hangover and Original Hangover. I love Zach Galifianakis. Some of them are empty. Snow White! Disc 2, I so distinctly remember playing, like, watching this over and over as a child. This also, an underrated gem. This is not on Disney+. Plus. Muppet Wizard of Oz is so fantastic. Queen Latifah plays Annie M. Highly recommend. School of Rock, classic. Love uh, Jack Black. Office Season 2, one of those discs. Sky High, a classic. Freaky Friday, I bet these are both on... Disney Plus. I recently got rid of my Disney Plus, though. More Queen Latifah. Queen Latifah is probably my favorite actress. I love her so much. I loved her in, obviously, Last Holiday, Hairspray, and um, um, Joyful Noise with, um, oh my god, Dolly Parton. That's such a good movie, too. I listen to that soundtrack all the time, so huge Queen Latifah stan. Lizzie McGuire movie. Seven dollars. These probably are both available on Disney Plus. That's what's something interesting about this is like I can find it somewhere else now and I can play them in my Xbox, which is good, but like obviously the Switch. The Switch also only has limited even streaming services you can have on it, so that's kind of shitty. Net or there should be every streaming service that you can get on the Xbox, you should be able to get it on the Switch. I'm telling you. Here, um, another thing that I love are just uh, PC game packs. Like, I have a, a laptop that still plays them, and uh, like these puzzle games, especially, they're so goofy and bad, um, and they're so cheap, like in clearance sections. You need them. Pink Panther movie, this, um, the Steve Martin one, hilarious. An episode of Adventure Time. I think that this bu was bundled from uh best buy with a finn hat finn the human hat it was adorable um i might have even gotten it as a gift but i love adventure time i have played very little of my minecraft game i think i'm just not creative enough to get it like i don't know what i want to build i just kind of like get in there and i'm like okay what am i supposed to do now 
uh, employee of the month. Highly underrated. You're gonna see. I'm unfortunately a Dane Cook fan. I think it's so funny. I, I maybe I was introduced to it at like too vulnerable a time, his comedy, but still, still is very funny. If you say green apple is the best flavor of Jolly Rancher, I will stab you in the jaw. I'm gonna be the one stabbing jaws in the way. So good. You'll see more of those discs. More Adventure Time. Juno. My God. Probably my favorite. Like teenage film. I feel like it had like a profound emotional effect on me. I don't know what this is. 